Welcome to Tesla Vision. Today we will talk about the most recent Tesla news and updates. Let's get into it right away. While the Tesla Power Pack from Super Green Solutions has paved the way for a new standard in commercial scale battery storage solutions, it's the new Tesla Power Pack 2 that builds on this success, offering more than double the storage capacity. Tesla Power Pack battery system can be easily adapted to suit a wide variety of installation scenarios. Tesla Power Pack is a collection of 16 individual battery pods that come with their own built-in heating and cooling systems. The concept of the Power Pack itself has been borrowed from Tesla Model S vehicle. Be advised, however, that Tesla Power Pack has been designed to provide power to businesses rather than individual homes. Those will be much better suited with Tesla's Powerwall. The Tesla Power Pack offers various benefits, the most obvious of which is the reduction of your electricity bills. It can boost up the power should it be required. This Power Pack enables businesses to generate, store, manage and to take more control of their energy costs, thus making the most of their solar power system installations. The energy capacity of the Tesla Power Pack 2 is 210 kWh AC and its peak power equals 50 kW. At the University of Queensland in Brisbane, the Tesla 1.1 MW 2.15 MWh power pack system has turned into quite a profitable business already. The educational institution has saved approximately 74,000 Australian dollars in its electric bills over the last three months thanks to the Tesla's new system. In mid-May, a 38-page extensive document was submitted by the Energy and Sustainability Team of the University of Queensland. The title of the report was The Business Case for Behind-the-Meter Energy Storage, Quarter 1 Performance of University of Queensland's 1.1 MW Tesla Battery. The report highlighted Tesla Power Pack's effectiveness and efficiency and projected that it could save the university thousands of dollars per quarter. The details of the amount of money saved by using the energy storage system have been provided on page 11 of the document. According to the document, the batteries provided $73,938 in value. Forecasting performed by the Energy and Sustainability Team at the University of Queensland suggested a total revenue generation for the system of just above $60,000. The report states, in total, the battery delivered $73,938 in value during the first quarter of 2020. This was dominated by frequency control ancillary services, which delivered 62% of total revenue, followed by the virtual cap contract at 26% and finally arbitrage at 12%. Total revenue in the first quarter exceeded business case forecasts by just over 20%. Most of the savings, however, were incited by the system helping to balance the grid when Australian coal plants were not operating correctly, rather than only through storing power when grid prices were low. Frequency control ancillary services are used by the Australian energy market operator to keep a consistent frequency on the electrical system. Their providers generate income for every instance they actually provide power during low-frequency events. One such event occurred on the 6th of March, when a portion of one of the Australian coal plants ceased to provide power. When it happened, Tesla Power Pack battery system at the University of Queensland was activated and provided sufficient amount of energy to bring the frequency back to a normal level. This response was sustained for 304 seconds, after which frequency restored to within the normal operating range, the report says. The success of the University of Queensland's Tesla Power Pack highlights the effectiveness of the energy storage systems alongside with plentiful information about how it is actually achieved. The commitment of the University of Queensland to publishing the battery's full performance data has been explained by its team leader, Andrew Wilson, as being derived from the need for industry and researchers learning from their experience. Australia has already turned into a country where Tesla energy storage products are used as alternatives to fossil fuel-powered solutions. During the final quarter of 2019, for instance, Tesla's big battery in South Australia, officially known as the Hornsdale Power Reserve, generated massive $4 million revenues for the area. In South Australia, during a power loss from a coal-powered plant in December of 2020, it was Tesla's 100-megawatt, 100 129 megawatt hour battery near Jamestown that saved the day. The local government, however, does not particularly support Tesla's power initiatives in Australia. Thus, South Australia Premier Stephen Marshall stated that he would not be supporting Tesla's virtual power plant initiative. Matt Canavan, Minister for Resources and Liberal National Party Senator, also dismissed Tesla's efforts invested in its power pack farm near Jamestown. Tesla's also stationed its power pack batteries in the Philippines, where the town of Palawan had been suffering from power outages for years and years. Now Tesla's been helping a local solar company in construction of a 2-megawatt microgrid. 
In order to implement the project, Tesla's entered into a partnership with Solar Philippines, a local renewable energy company. Its estimates suggest that the planned microgrid would be sufficient to provide the town residents with the energy 24 hours a day. It will also help to halve their electricity bills. There will, however, be a 2-megawatt diesel generator on standby to provide some extra power should such a need arise. There are 16,000 people living in Palawan, a tiny town located just below the largest island in the Philippines. Everybody living there is already used to power outages that have become a part of their daily routines. The power-related problems have been plaguing Palawan for almost half a century. In 1978, when it was first connected to the grid, the town would get approximately four hours of electricity per day. Eventually, the number would improve, and in 2014, it would enjoy 16 hours of electricity supply daily. Power outages, however, were still quite common, and some of them would last for up to 7 hours per day. In such circumstances, the Tesla power pack system is a major game changer. In Palawan, the installation of the power pack is the first renewable solution taken in the country, as noted by Leandro Levist, founder of Solar Philippines. Considering the benefits derived from installing the solar batteries, he believes there can be no reasonable excuse why other towns and regions would now follow Palawan's suit. There have been a number of tangible benefits of the solar battery system so far. The town residents were able to celebrate Christmas without any power outages. Schools have started using computers. The residents are planning an ice plant that will support local fishermen. In a photograph, the residents express their gratitude to Tesla and Solar Philippines. Since the installation of the batteries, they have not experienced any power outages. Another example of a successful Tesla battery project is that of Puerto Rico. Back in 2017, in the wake of Hurricane Maria, Puerto Rico was plagued by numerous power outages. Tesla shipped hundreds of Powerwall battery systems to the incorporated U.S. territory and restored electricity to some 3.5 million residents left without power. Tesla CEO Elon Musk has personally donated $250,000 to aid in relief efforts. Elon Musk noted that renewable energy could help revitalize the damaged grid, and Puerto Rico governor Ricardo Rosselló expressed his interest in Tesla's support, stating that the island can potentially turn into a flagship energy project for the California-based company. Tesla installed its photovoltaic systems and batteries in various locations in Puerto Rico. To support the damaged power grid, Tesla worked on expanding the existing batteries and the solar installation 24 hours a day. The company wanted to resolve the issue faced by the island as soon as it could, and while the project has not been a complete success, it cannot be called a complete failure either. Make sure to check out one of the videos shown on your screen right now. We post videos daily, so feel free to subscribe and stay up to date on all most recent news and updates.